Hey guys, we're going to be fishing Hallsville, Kentucky today. I think it's the Newburgh Pool on the Ohio River. Uh, this is actually where monster rod holders was, were born, so to say. Um, I lost a fish of a lifetime on one of my competitor's rod holders. and swore it would never happen again. Uh, and here we are back probably, what, three years later. And uh, we're going to try it again. Hopefully uh, we can get on a big one. something down there that we're just kind of hovering around. Today I'm targeting log jams in, in deeper water. It's finding key pieces of structure like this and suspending baits over. And I'm using my trolling motor just trying to stay on top of them, just hovering over top. Diving, diving, taking drag. Come on, baby. This tangling with catfish pole. He hasn't come off bottom, guys. Whew, he's wearing me out. And he's wrapped around my lines. He's wrapped around two or three of my lines. Feel the fight, guys. Feel the fight. Oh. Yeah, he's coming up a little. He's probably got every one of my lines wrapped up. Oh, look at that bubble. He's a nice one. Oh. Yeah, I got every line in there tangled up. He's big. We 
we're gonna try to pick him up. He's wore me out. What do you think, fellas? All right, guys, this is kind of a fish you can catch on a controlled drift using big baits during post spawn. But uh, you need to remember the conservation part of this. These big fish don't come every day, so it's best to turn them loose. Just take some pictures of them and they'll last a lifetime. All right, let's let him go. Ooh, he was too heavy. Whew. I got slimed. I love it.